host, Erica Salt of the Queen of Teens. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. This is a whole hour of Santa Barbara Teen Athlete. And all those people in businesses that support those teen athletes. I don't know if it's because you're sitting next to me and you haven't been around for like, I don't know, three or four months. Perfect. But I got me made the goosey bumps. Say, hey, <laughs> Laura Acadia, Woo, she's back. Woo! I'm loving that. Hi, Erica. How are you I, doing? I'm so excited for you. She's yeah. in the Senate. Oh, my yeah. God. At CC. Yeah. Yeah, she's Part in the Senate. In the Senate. Yeah. yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's the first time. I go, committee. shush, I'm finished. I'm not going to finish. <laughs> I'm not, nobody shoot. Nobody shushes baby in the corner. Is that what is that? No, nobody I said. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Nobody puts baby. Spank. Okay, nobody puts her. That don't. Nobody does that. <laughs> what was wild, I go, just like, you know, hey, Laura, you should try out for the... Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, Laura. Sorry, move that microphone. <laughs> hey, Laura, you should try out for that Senate. And boom, she does it. I mean, it's hard to do the Senate. And she just like, just, she did it. Now, I don't, yeah. It was wild. And I'm curious. Did you have to learn parliamentary procedure? Do they even are, use it anymore? They do use it. And we are applying it to our committee because I'm part of a subcategory of the senate of course you are and um so we're just like starting to practice and using um these rules which are sometimes kind of confusing and for me don't really make sense but it's good practice for the future yeah and the professors that you have that are uh, you want to give a shout out to anyone uh, definitely to Professor Eskandari, thanks to whom I went on an internship hey, in oh! Sacramento all right, all right. Yeah. And yeah, he's the one that got me into politics. So, <laughs> so it's his fault. Yeah, it's his fault. It's definitely his fault. Yep. Did Did you have to run for office, or did you? How did it lead um, up to? Yes, there were elections, and then um, I mean, we had to basically run for office, and uh, they created an honorary uh, position for me because they. They didn't have enough positions, and they didn't really find one where they wanted... But like they, they wanted you. Yeah, they wanted yes. me, but they were not sure about which one. And then they wanted to give me marketing, and I didn't like the idea of marketing, because uh -huh. that's not really what I was into. And so they asked me if I wanted to be an honorary member, and now I'm co-chair on the Philanthropic Committee. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I know your host, uh, Erica, is a big fan of that philanthropy. Yes, I mean, I got that from her, I guess. Yeah, no, 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 I didn't get anything from me. You you came into this world with your own little ideas, and I'm blessed to know you. I mean, I'm honestly, seriously, we're so oh, glad that you. you're, I mean, everything. I'm learning things from you, honestly. I'm totally Aww. learning things from you, seriously. So what, uh, uh, as far as your philanthropic endeavors, what, what where are we going with that? So we're setting it up this semester, the end of the semester for next semester, when we're going to have our financial and start being active and start interacting with the Santa Barbara uh, community. And I have two of my members here today with me that are going to help me talk about it. And in general, we want to address uh, people, environment, and um, and also like a more worldwide perspective of like how to help others. And I'm just going to go in depth in that later on with my friends. Mm -hmm. Well, it's amazing the experience that you're getting to do this and getting to do it right now as you're young because you can look at all the things that other people are already doing, but you've got that creative juice to figure <laughs> out things that we haven't figured out yet. So we're really inspired to watch you. Uh, thank you. To load her with energy. That's what I like. I love energy. Speaking of energy, guess who you have to you right in case you get t knackered or tuckered or something like that, and you need to do like touch the toes or touch your nose or something like that. We've got in the house Heather Bond. Woo! I am so happy. It was so funny because I had to reach out to her because I was just flying down I, in my feed. I'm like, I see this girl. She's not even gasping for air. She's on top of the mountain. Even looking at this woman on top of the mountain, my hip hurt. I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, I had to go. I, I, I was paused. I had to run and get water. Right? I'm just like looking at her. I'm like, and she's got her shades on. She's like looking at. I'm like following her. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to say, turn the camera. I'm like, you know, look at her. Oh, I said, oh my God, that's Heather. And I'm saying, oh. Oh my God, I'm trying to say, Heather, looking at you, Heather. I love that, you know, Facebook Live. I know. You and then know about what? an hour later, she's making a mango shake. <laughs> oh my God, she gets back from the mountain. Did you like, what? Did you take a camel? How did you do that? So then I called you, right? Yeah. And yes. I said, what yes. are you doing? Making I love mango you. Smoothies. I love it. 
I just, you got to come back. So tell us. We, I'm making a no. whole section around you. Right? No, no, no. So then I went out on the, on the thing. And just so you know, thank you so much because you're making me elevate the show. So then I bought Teen Sports Video. <laughs> I wasn't taken. <laughs> Idiots. How can you not buy Teen Sports Video? So I bought it. Now I have this whole section. I'm ready for you. Yeah. I'm going to be dumping right? the Bob's videos. Yeah. And all yes. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm more, can you tell I'm a little excited? I know. I'm I know. <laughs> so I, I have nothing to calm do. Calm down. Just, just sorry. calm it down. Ooh, I'm trying. Man, my hydrant is going over here. I love you. I love no, you know I'm kidding. Uh, no, to tell you know me I'm what's kidding. going on. I love you. I've got a lot going on, and I'll tell you what. This Facebook Live stuff is crazy. It's awesome. You can reach out to so many more people outside your community, all around the world, um, and just, uh, you know, what I do is I serve people. I really want them to just get out there and um, live their best, healthiest life so that they can. So I'm creating a whole new online uh, mega empire. And uh, <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. And and I'm bringing my daughter in. My daughter's going to be eight years old in May or in April. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, in May, there's something else happening. But um, and, and it's exciting because I'm I've I've been a coach for young kids in the past, and um, this is exciting to me because where does where do all these healthy habits start? They start when you're young. So that's what I'm doing right now. She's doing videos with me, and um, I'm getting ready to launch a whole new membership site. And um, I'm 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 on I'm on fire right now. So where, where can we find you on the internet? You can find me at heatherbondnow.com. And you can go engage in all different stuff on my website right now, even before the membership site's up and running. Got a great course coming out, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Excited. <laughs> I love that you're incorporating the mother-daughter because I think it's huge when you can get the families to exercise together. Absolutely. And, and develop that healthy lifestyle together. Right. That's huge. You know, and that's, I would just want to say on that too, I, I feel so blessed and fortunate that I get to spend so much time with my daughter because of what I do for a living, you know, working for myself and creating my own thing. But I want to share with other women single fathers, single mothers, just families, um, how they can actually really interact because the interaction's not that big these days in the family. So this is a great way to incorporate mom working out, kids working out, fathers working out together and create that family fun. Yeah, I love it. I used to take mine in the double jogging stroller. We'd go two miles down to the park. They'd run around and play for an hour. I'd throw them back in the double jogger, run home. And they were athletes their entire life. There you go. They just Michelle developed Meyer that. Yeah. Woo! Woo! How, are we, how are we doing? We got the boxing. Was that all set up and ready to go? It's about ready to go. Mm -hmm. But we have been, it is crazy at PAL. I have a young guest here that I'll introduce later. And he's involved with our youth leadership. He's been in jiu-jitsu. He's been in bold and gold. Our flamenco dancers are going to perform it. Um, our big event and more kids than ever coming in our doors. Beautiful. It's fantastic. And if you and and the price is right, right? Oh, nope. it's free. I love that. I love that. I love free. Free is awesome. Yes. So, and it's not filled with tons of paperwork. You just go in and you fill like out your registration, registration form. form. Mom and dad sign it, and right. you come from three to six thirty every day. You can't beat that. You and can't. what's the address? Wow. It is twelve thirty five Chapala, nice. and we now just partnered with the school so we now have healthy snacks every day for oh, our kids like that. Nice. Yeah, like that. give a shout out to nancy weiss yeah, yeah go nancy it. nancy Woo! is amazing Woo! weiss you're killing it you're doing it again she amazing. doesn't stop she doesn't that's our, it the snacks are mount incredible. rushmore nancy weiss profile <laughs> picture that's it that's it uh, well you know michael baker suggested that i'm gonna we gotta start that motion right i second yes. it right yep. oh Absolutely. definitely uh, do you have to second it well just a parliamentary procedure yes. second the motion motion <laughs> motion yeah motion and, and and you do know second. you do know that and then you can discuss and then right. we discuss that's right okay you do know that uh that uh, michael baker did meet his wife at route Mount Mount rushmore. Mount rushmore. Yes, exactly. exactly exactly on the sure. nose of Lincoln. Way to the show. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, and I grew up in Mount by Mount Rushmore, Rapid City. Did you? Wow. I did. Wow. Cool. So you introduced them. 
Absolutely, I did. I wasn't sure. How it I was. sure did. At a class reunion. <laughs> and Mike Good. will be very interested in hearing yes. this story. I know. I'm going to send him the show. It's great. He was supposed to be here. See, that's what happens. Got to bang on Michael when he's not here. All right, Kristen Sled, we got a couple of minutes. How you doing? Woo! Good. I'm good. This yeah. is how Laura gets the whole thing, right? She graduates from DP. She comes mm-hmm. over from Bologna, Italy. Uh-huh. She was going to go to these fancy schools. I'm like, why? It's free. Go to CC. Well, CC is a fancy Come on. school. Oh, it's, a, it's the Come best on. school. It's a beautiful it's the best. I love CC. It's you, right? It's yeah. The is the promise working for you? Oh, yeah. It it's is. working. Yeah. It's even cover, it even covered my internship. Because you graduated from an yeah. area school. And yes. so you don't pay fees, tuition, nothing. Books, bus not, pass. Nothing. Bus pass. Pencils, no. pads. That's incredible. Pencils, pads. That's for exactly students like you. That, that is in place for it. So yep. I'm so happy people take advantage of that. You know what, Kristen? We were asking Laura to do a little video. Maybe you could do it with her. Uh, for Teen Sports Radio because she gets asked by a lot of exchange students on how did the Promise program work for oh, her. Oh, yeah. That would be great. Um, and then in, in other news, um, College Keystone has openings and is up and running and, and uh, we're sort of growing our business a little bit. Nice. So if anybody wants to give us a call, mention Teen Sports Radio. Beautiful. We'd love to meet with you and just answer Absolutely. And what's yeah. the phone number there or their website? Um, the phone number is 805 805- Six eight zero six three four one, and the website is collegekeystone dot com. Nice. Yeah. And well, we, I got a le- we got one more guy. I love this guy, Aaron Thomas. Hey, I don't want to go bang, did a bang, you know, with the trainer, trainer. Yeah, yeah. Got the yin yang thing going on. I like your hair. I like Thank the you. whole thing. Thank you. Aaron Thomas live. Oh yeah. Dot now. No, no. No, I don't have my own website. Yet. Okay, you yet. can find me at Superior Fitness Center under the trainers tag um, nice. or the trainers tab. Um, Aaron Thomas. There's my bio there, my classes, all my information. Nice. I like this thing you got going here. Very fifties. Oh yeah, I just got a haircut. I, I like I it. I think my sister cut it a little too short. No, I like we'll it. Work no, with I like it. it. Okay. No, ooh, Laura says she ooh, likes yeah. it. Yeah. All I'm right. very Laura critical. Laura likes it. Solid. I'm, I'm used to Thank criticizing you, my you brother. Right awesome. Yeah. How old are you? 24. 24. Mm-hmm. He's 24. Oh, <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> Almost 30. She's no. dying right now. You know what that means? I'll let you guys talk at break. All right? Sounds good. Sounds oh good. God, doesn't he look fantastic, Laura? Yes, She's in the absolutely. Senate. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah. She's in the Senate. Why are you turning red? You want to say hi to your mom in, in, in a language? Go ahead. Oh, mama. She speaks five languages. She speaks five languages. Wow. Yeah, I know. She's learning sign right now. What's that middle finger? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, middle no, that's finger. a finger. It's a ring finger. Oh, all right. Oh, God. <laughs> this is Eric Assault. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more of these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show, and I am your host, Eric Assault of the Creative Team. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. I hope everybody brought their little blankie and everything, because you know what time it is right now? Everybody say on three. It's story time. <laughs> and again, that was horrible. Let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know. It just came like, out. Blankie okay, time? Let's say it again on three. Story time. Okay. I just made it up. Yeah, I just I made it up. Say, I didn't remember I Yeah. I, it's a yeah. new series that we have on Two Sports Radio. That's right. Well, I just made it up. It, I hope you have a story, because you're going to tell a story right now. All right. You had, you told a really good story last week. I hope you remembered it. Ah, uh, story. Wow, I can't remember that particular okay. story, but I got another story for okay, you. You ready? I have a story about a story. Sure. <laughs> You're a good storyteller. Oh, that's really sweet. All right. Well, this story will help impress the importance of stories. Oh. So there was once a kingdom with oh. a king, right? And uh, the kingdom wasn't very wealthy. Was his name Aaron? Uh, the king? Okay, we can call him King Aaron. That's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> the people weren't doing very well. And the king was old, and he didn't have an heir. Aww. It was like, holy crap, what's going to happen, right? Aww. Well, it's not a miracle him. happened, and his <laughs> wife gave birth to a son. Laura? No, son. Uh, oh, good <laughs> golly. His wife, Laura. <laughs> his wife, Laura. Okay, his wife, Laura, gave birth to her son. You'll have to remember all the names for me. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so the people were really happy, and so they all got together, and they got brought gifts and everything, and they came to see this young man. And one man came, and his name was, uh, let's call him Abe. He didn't have any gift. He came with empty hands. And the king was really disappointed. He was like, wow, that's kind of rude to come see a new baby and not bring a gift. Absolutely. And the young, <laughs> the young man said, I have a gift of immeasurable wealth to give your child. 
when he's old enough to understand, I'm going to tell him a story every day. And as, as he grows up as a young man, I'm going to give him a, a gift that's going to help him grow in wisdom and compassion. And that's what this man did. He made sure to come visit this young king every day. And when this young king became king and his father died, he was so wise and compassionate, the kingdom became prosperous. And everybody was able to, because you have this right understanding, the right rule of law, you have compassion, everyone was able to prosper. And so when the, this king uh, was getting ready to die and his children were all around his bedside, they said to their father, what can we do to honor you? And he said, on my tomb, please write the words that it's from the seeds of a story that my wisdom was born. And that's why it is so important to pass on stories. They are seeds of wisdom, and we have no idea where they're going to sprout or how they're going to sprout. But the wisdom of the people needs to be told. The story needs to be told. And that's my... Wow, (laughs) that had a lot of dead air. I told you. Story time in there. Was for being spontaneous, yeah. thank God. Thank you. That you was new. You, you could have yeah. failed yeah. and you did it. That was, that was good. That, that could have been the good, end right? of story time. That was, but really that was a yeah. good story time. Did you like that dead air? What? Don't take that dead air out. Because we all had to like we wrap stunned. our brain we around all, it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yes. I know. It was, I liked it. It was very good. I don't know how we're going to top that. Like, I mean, that was a really, that was awesome. That was really cool. Wow. Laura, well, okay. you're going to have to do something here. Let's, let's, you want to introduce, you want to go first? You want to introduce yeah. your guests? Yes, let's go. Let's do so that. I'm All here right. With my friends, uh, Jasmine Yuhibe. Oh, did you notice Aaron is just jumping out of his seat? That's just all. Oh, it was so so gentlemanlike, right? I'm just saying. I try. I try. I'm just wonderful. How cute that was. I'm just what? I'm just it's a, so cute that he did that. What? So I'm okay. here with Jasmine and Maya. Woo! What? Uh, I'm very happy. To they be both here. go to City College, and they're both in the philanthropic committee with me, and they're both marketers on the philanthropic committee. Nice. So, um, Gross, why did you want to join the committee? What about it inspired you to join? Other than the great members, we are helping out a really great cause, which is Doctors Without Borders. And we're going to be targeting every group of individuals there is out there, not just um, international people that need help, but the people in Santa Barbara that need help. Yeah, we were thinking about joining the Unity Shop because we know it from the radio show and that addresses the whole community. And also something environmental like um, WWF, I don't know what the name is in English, I always forget. It's the Panda logo, that one, yeah, or Greenpeace (laughs) because of the environmental issues that are happening nowadays and that are almost irreversible and Wildlife yeah thank you <laughs> um so yeah we wanted to join them because we're in southern california and people are very aware of this and santa barbara is probably the community that works the best for like making things happen and yeah we're just starting to set it up for next semester and hoping it will like blow up and actually work and here's jazzy um Jazzy is also, like I said, a marketer responsible for social media. Nice. And he, you just set up a Facebook page, right? Yeah, a Facebook page. And then next we're going to go to Instagram. And yes. our goal is just to try to um, set up like a name for ourselves and an image so that people can you know, get a better understanding of what we want to do. If so. we want to like your Facebook page, what is it? Um, okay, so it's Students United for Humanity. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah, and then you can find us under the tag. Uh, we have uh, several tags. We have a it's, lot of tags. Yeah, it's actually. just Students United for Humanity, mm-hmm. Philanthropy, um, uh, SBCC. WWF, SBCC. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like <laughs> there's Hashtag, a lot of yeah. hashtags that are connected <laughs> to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for short, sa. Sa. Students okay. United S-U-H. for Humanity. S U H. Yes, sa. Sa. Um, sa. Yeah. Sa. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it, we realized how hard it is to set up something mm-hmm. like this because, I mean, the first issue was do we want a nonprofit? Do we want a foundation? Um, and then Dominique actually helped us out with the decision. And uh, the ASG is now helping us create this foundation because we want to make sure that what people will donate is going to be tax uh, deductible. Mm -hmm. So um, and that the people will actually see where the money is going Uh, and will be connected to the ASG. But it will be just like really money flow from the person to the nonprofit. And like we're just like the 
intermediaries between the two things. And yeah, it's totally nonprofit and just for the experience. And mm -hmm. I mean, if we don't want to help and it's our future, then who wants to help? Exactly. So. Right. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Well, Jeff Green's very familiar with some of the foundations and the fund for Santa Barbara would probably be a very good contact for you guys to reach out to. They're oh, yeah. very grassroots, Definitely. grassroots yeah. givers. So. Check out Fun for Santa Barbara. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Definitely. Yeah, yeah contacts are what we have to work on. Is like because once we have the foundation, we need the money. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And, and there's that's issues. That's with, all of us. Yeah, and there's issues with like getting money for our own organization, so we can get donation boxes and like have the right um, sponsors and um, get our donation boxes in the right businesses so that we can start raising money. So yeah. so how often do you meet and where can people like join up and help you? How does, how does your uh, organization work right now? Uh, okay, so we meet once a week at school on Wednesdays. Um, and I... I uh, I'm not I think can, I'm, can only students join. I mean, yeah, um, I th it's it's mostly just students right now that are joining. Yes, but SPCC students. SPCC, SPCC students. But also, yeah. uh, for example, my brother he mm -hmm. is in it for the marketing. Like he drew our, our logo. Obviously, we have an artist, so why not use him? <laughs> um, and. We're planning on keeping it open to everybody because the more help, the better. And So uh, high school students <clears throat> could maybe get community hours working with you? Yes, we actually want to try to reach out to high school students once it's set up. Uh, and like, especially the public high schools that we have, but also going into the private ones. Uh, because I've seen through Teen Sports Radio that there's a lot of high school kids that want to help. And so why not give a them a chance? high school kids who need community <clears throat> service hours yeah. and want it to be something meaningful that matters to yeah, them and not exactly. just... Great. to check off the hours but to have mm -hmm. it be something they can learn from and, and contribute to. Yes. Yes. Do you have an email or a contact that people could reach you at? Uh, it's all on our web, on our Facebook page because we have several different emails and contacts depending on whether you want to donate directly to one of the foundations that we're connected to or like give it to us and then we just split it however we feel that it is more, more effective. Effectful. Yeah. Um, so it's always Students United for Humanity on Facebook. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, we need to link you up with Teen Sports Radio. Oh, mm. definitely. <laughs> so I have a question. Is your interest in education in marketing, or is this something you're exploring or just learning through doing? Um, well, I'm actually undeclared right now, mm -hmm. so I'm not uh, specifically like going towards marketing, but I, I'm really savvy with Instagram, mm -hmm. and I really like keeping my own Instagram up, so I just decided mm -hmm. that I would do that. It's a transferable um, skill that you yeah, can use for yeah, anything. Yeah. Yeah. And we are really good friends. And I, I saw she takes all like uh, philanthropy, no, um, yeah, philanthropy classes, uh, sociology classes. It's all about people. And she's mm -hmm. a very sweet person. So I was like, hey, you probably would want to join. <laughs> and as, so, as soon as I told her what it was, she was like, sure, I'm in. And mm -hmm. Maya did basically the same. Yeah, definitely. I've been interested in marketing for a while, but that's not why I joined this club mm -hmm. at all. Because... This actually didn't even know. experience, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know. And now I can use this. It, it's great on job re resumes and stuff like that, but like this is a great experience working with a charity and working with nonprofit organizations and getting experience working with like corporates, <laughs> corporate people I've instead got, of <laughs> Sorry, I've got a quick question. Is there anybody in particular that you're looking for in any specific area? Um, we are creating positions in our club. Uh, it's not really a club, in our committee. Uh, the more we go forward and we realize that there's the need for it. Mm -hmm. So right now we have two people that are responsible for finding connections outside of SVCC. Uh, we have two graphic designers. We have three marketers. Um, but yeah, we'll just like go forward and see what else we need. We, right. it's, we're really new at this, mm -hmm. so we're That's building great. it out for ne next semester. Right. But any ideas, welcome. <laughs> I mean, we you know, just in high school last year. Yes. yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 Thanks. I know a secret. Ask her how many units she's taking. <laughs> oh yeah, um, taking twenty-one and a half units. Oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm not allowed to work, jobs, so I might as well it? study. Wow. Way to go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, give a shout out to your mom and dad. <laughs> Hallo Mama, hallo Papa, ich hoffe, dass ihr euch heute dieses äh, Show anhört und wir sehen uns dann eh bald wieder, wenn ich zurück nach Italien komme. Papa.
in Italian now, please. Um, <laughs> ciao papà, te lo dico anche a te in italiano perché qua mi chiedono di salutarvi, quindi spero che vi piaccia questo show e che tu abbia capito almeno la metà. Ci sentiamo quando torna a casa. We had a guy in France with a Teen Sports Radio t-shirt on. I posted it on Facebook. Say hi to him. Uh, Saluto a tutti, spero che voi siete uh, tutti bene e che la vostra giornata è molto, molto buona. Um, va a sentire tutto. I have friends in I have friends in Spain. Say hi. Hola a todos. Espero que todos estén bien y que tengan un día muy bueno y que no están solos y que están felices. No, we have Chinese now. Come on, say something. Ni men hao wo Laura wo she Italian e wo she wo zai SPCC shui sheng e zai chen. Okay, I would say do some sign, but they couldn't hear that. No, they could not hear that. Hey, let's let's take. There you go. That's right. Check out all Jazz our new uh, <laughs> Check out our new uh, We'll do it on break Check out our new uh, We'll do videos here Like next time But in about two weeks We've got a lot of commercials Please stay tuned For those commercials I'm very proud of them We have uh, uh, The all uh, I, the, I love Patricia Bragg And we have got Some Boost commercials Out there uh, Listen Stay tuned We'll be back with more After these messages back and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday. 9 a.m. All right, he's looking right at me. I love that haircut. Thank you very much. Where'd you go? So let's give a shout out. Uh, to my sister Amanda Thomas at Cutting Edge out in Goleta. Woo! Cutting Woo! Edge out yeah. in Goleta. Yep. They just redid their facility too so it's really? very nice. Very How much nice. did that set you back? Ten dollars. Ouch! It's my sister. <laughs> Not free? It used to be free when I, when she would come in for training, oh. but she hasn't trained for about two months, so I felt but, obligated. Oh, well, Laura, Laura's got to say something. No, he's Laura? lucky. Usually siblings charge more. Oh! oh. <laughs> exactly. Laura, I, I couldn't wait to she hear knows what you had to say. Graphic designer, right? <laughs> yeah. Everybody couldn't wait to hear what you had to say. <laughs> she had to lean in there and say something. <laughs> Ouch! You, stop hitting me. I know. Yeah, say it in French. <laughs> oh, that was. Good. Okay, you got the mic. What's going on? Well, I brought in a guest today. We have uh, Coach Trey Putnam here. <laughs> Trey, uh, he works over at the Garden Street School, which is a small school in Santa Barbara off of Garden Street. Yes. Uh, has about 160 students, and um, he uh, coaches all sports, I believe. I do. Awesome. Nice. He also runs a basketball camp. Let me grab the card here. Game Time Basketball Camp. Nice. And he's the regional camp director. All right. Okay. So, Trey, tell us what you do at this camp. Uh, we basically travel to small town America, mostly Idaho, Utah, things of that nature. And we basically shut down the whole small city. And we take all the kids and we have a nice little basketball camp. Wow. Um, California is known to have a lot of camps, so they don't get a chance to really do all that. So we take it to them. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, that's wow. beautiful. Mm. How long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been doing that for a good maybe 10 years. Um, with this company, it's been like the last five years. Uh, there was another company that I worked for before that we did the same thing, but decided to branch on off on my own. So yeah. That's fantastic. So where's your favorite place that you've gone to? Uh, well, I'm always like Vegas um, for obvious reasons. Um, but uh, there's also, you know, Salt Lake City is fun. The kid, yeah. yeah, the kids, the kids in Salt Lake City and the kids in like Idaho are very, very good kids. Everybody listens great, and it makes our job so much better. So, how long are these camps? Week long, about you know nine to five every day. So basically, we take their kids, and the parents are very appreciative of that during the summer. So. How exciting! Yes. Excellent. And if we wanted to uh, look a little more into your camp, where can we go for that? Uh, GameTimeBasketballCamps.com would be an easy place to find. You can, if you want to look at the trainers, you can. there's a little tab that says all the trainers. Or if you just want to find where all the camps are located, feel free to look at it. Excellent. And then Trey also, he uh, over at the Garden Street School. So basically, the reason I found this guy is he's been coming into Superior Fitness running circuits with his uh, track team from the Garden Street School. So why don't you just elaborate a little bit on your position over at the school and what, kind of what that school's about? Well, I started as a basketball coach. They were looking for one, and I knew a parent of one of the kids that go there, and they 
um, contacted me and said they needed a basketball coach. And after looking at the school, I knew they had they didn't have a whole lot of coaches for everything else. And I consider myself a jack of all traits, so I decided to do the track team, the volleyball team, the cross country team, the whatever it is they needed. I just wanted to take it. So, Excellent, yeah. man. We need more people like you in this uh, community. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy. Absolutely. It. Yeah. Excellent. Um, let me ask you another question here. Um, how do kids, maybe, if a parent is looking to put their child into the Garden Street School, how would they go about that? Uh, well, there's a couple of people on campus that uh, are that kind of deal with that stuff. I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of that. But most of the time, um, there's been students that have gone to other schools in the area uh, that maybe are not getting the, the play time that they want in their teams, or maybe they're not getting the grades they want and what what's great about the schools it's such a small school that a lot of a lot of teacher attention on mm-hmm. on all the things so it's like impossible to get anything less than a b in a class so it's just you know they just awesome. they, it's a great way of getting in, in good grades back up and so. you're helping kids get out to good colleges and they're having a lot of success yeah, after the school absolutely i mean I've, I've only been starting with them but i've always you know i know i have a lot of i have pretty good connections with some co- coaches around the area mostly junior colleges and things of that nature if someone wants to continue their education or play excellent so, yeah. excellent mm-hmm. So does the Garden Street School have their own playground area, or are you using different schools? Or Yes, we uh, they have a big field, and they have a lot of outdoor facilities, but as far as indoor, like volleyball and basketball, we do a, we use a place off-site. We actually use uh, Girls, Inc. over in Goleta and Santa Barbara area. Um, and as far as all, and we tend to travel to other schools because they have more facilities than we do. What, what other schools do you part, um, compete against? Uh, schools in the area would be Providence School. They're in our league. Laguna Blanca, we play them. Uh, there's a couple of schools up in Los Olivos like Dunn and Midland, very small boarding schools mostly. Um, yeah. Okay. Yes, play Kate? Uh, we have played Kate, but they're not mm-hmm. in our league, uh, okay. but we do play them, yes. Interesting. That's great. Yes, we're very small Division Five, Division Six schools, basically. Yeah. So, so do most of your players play on or participate in more than one sport Absolutely. or all the sports? Absolutely. They, uh, they, they, I see the same kids go to every sign up for everything. Occasionally we'll get a new kid every now and again. But, you know, for the most part, it's, you know, whoever was on the basketball team is now on the volleyball team. Uh-huh. It's now, and so it makes the transition very easy. That's a neat opportunity for students to get a more well-rounded sports education, too. Absolutely, yeah. 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 They all have one sport that they really, really like. Um, but then, you know, the other rest are like hobbies, and I just try to make it so they have some success in it. Really. So I'm, I'm guessing you're fond of cross, uh, what do you call it, cross training with a sports? A little bit, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I did a lot. Of, I grew up in Santa Barbara area. I did a lot of, you know, different. My whole family was very much into a lot, a lot of different sports. So I concentrated mostly on the basketball and, and the baseball side of the world. But when I was young, I did a lot of it. So, yeah. I was just going to ask, what are the ages that you're working with, I didn't of, the, of camps or, or of, I, mean, I, I of what, what's the school? The school what, is high school. I mostly I do. I'm, yeah, school. there's a there's we split up. There's, it actually goes through K through 12, mm-hmm. 160 students. I mostly work with the upper class, this the high school level. We have a whole different section for the lower levels. And, and the camp, the camp goes from about six years old to eighteen years old. Oh, great! Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Very wide. Yeah, that's that's nice. So give us your contact information again, sweetie. Uh, it's GameTimeBasketballCamps.com. Um, uh, you can also reach us at there's the office is 805-729-5539. Trey, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, man. Please, please join us again because we'd love. I mean, this is this is what Santa Barbara's about, and guys like you, we always like to support. And if we can help you out at all, um, what I'd like to do is um, we'd like to give you a commercial. We've got like thirty seconds, right, D? We've got thirty seconds available, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's give Trey a commercial, huh? Yeah. All right. Woo! All right. That you could thank him. Okay, that's that's on him. Appreciate All right, it. so he, you, he, you owe him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and then I'll you, and then you owe him. Yes, yes sir. Works. Hey, we'll get you in the gym, man. All right, yeah. so you see how it works? Yes. Okay, good. That's a lot of love going on right Absolutely. now. Laura, you owe him. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Where is this, where is this coming from? Yeah, well, no, you get back up in the mountain. Okay, this yeah. is Eric Assault, and we'll be back with more after these messages. <laughs> We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. Michelle, 
I'm so no. patient. I, I How always are you? Am. I work with teens. I have to be patient. I am serious. <laughs> I, I like your, your glasses. Those motorcycle glasses? What they, is up with that? Yeah, what, they're my That's aviators. The, oh, look at that. <laughs> my aviators. That's a pal. I that was you. a police athletic cop. I know. Pull I look me like over. I could be a, a cop on a uh, Seriously, bike, huh? pull me over. I got to get a picture Wait, of that. Here we go. Here we go. I know. Who'd you bring? Put the, leave um, the glasses on. I brought Miguel Angel. He is one of our um, Youth Leadership Council members gotcha. and has been involved in Bold and Gold uh-huh. and Jiu Jitsu cool. and just an amazing young man. So, right. Miguel, what have you been up to? Uh, not much. Just uh, last weekend, we actually went to. Um, we went to a program called Cowpal, where our youth leadership or our youth leadership program and um, the sorry and youth from throughout California yeah. met. Yeah, we all met, and they just helped us to like become better leaders. It was better, like exper- It was to help us become leaders, become like more enthusiastic in leading younger or older um, students. Nice. Yeah. Woo! Is this a volunteer position that you do, or? Oh uh, yeah, YLC one? is the program that I went with, and we are a group of high school students who help out our community. And um, I got the opportunity to go to Cal Poly because of them. Yeah. Nice. Excellent, amazing. What high school you go to? San Marcos High School. Nice, I love San Marcos yeah. High School. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So, how did you qualify for this position? Did you just apply, or did you have to do some work or something? Well, I Your grades. Yeah, grades and our we have a point system at YLC. We have meetings every Wednesday, so we get points from that. Um, and you have to like out be outgoing because that's what they want. That's what they're looking for, and they're looking for leaders who are willing to be outgoing, willing to be um, like good leaders. So yeah. So you, you're getting extra credit in at San Marcos. For this? I uh, know this is uh, outside of school. Totally extracurricular. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. What would you want to do after high school? I'm not sure what school I want to go to, but I want to be a fireman. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, about that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a firefighter. <laughs> yes. So he also runs track for San Marcos. Woo. Yes. Very nice. Wow. Busy I man. Busy. Are you a sprinter or? Yeah, I'm a sprinter. I do 400, 4 by 4 and 200. Nice. Yeah. nice. So what is the PAL program? You know, when you first signed up, how many years have you been participating in the PAL program? Uh, this will be my third. Okay, so when you first started, is this something that you wanted to do? You were encouraged to do? You just said, Ma, your mom said, okay, you're going to do? Like, how'd that take place? Well, my mom signed me up because she knew Ovia. She's one of the directors there. And she thought that I needed help with like homework and my brother too so we just started going there and we just started we joined the the tutor program there nice and that's how i got started like in yLC and all the other programs in there okay so for you it worked i mean obviously you're just excelling so it's been a good thing for you yeah yeah nice so what's the best thing about it like if you could like encourage like if somebody's listening you know i know really She's hitting you. Don't pay attention. <laughs> Put the money away. You just there's just no stopping you. Okay, no seriously. Miss Michelle bakes for the kids. <laughs> oh, oh, there no, you go. Kidding. Yeah, she does. It's really great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, you could just. It's very passionate. You could say. I mean, when you when you're around people that love kids, I mean, it, it it's nice. You feel safe. Yeah. I mean, I don't put words in your mouth, but what are the things that you know makes you want to go there? No, the programs that they have there. They have jujitsu. I joined that last year, and I thought that was really fun. And I told my brother to join it too. So he had really he had a lot of fun. He's doing a golden bold right now. I used to do that. That was fun. It wasn't just where, where we team where bold and gold is where Pal teamed up with the YMCA Montecito. Oh yeah, the Montes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we took kids over there in vans, and they just like worked out. I think they swimmed a few times, and we have like fun there. So let me ask you this. So I have my daughter's almost eight. Is she able to go there? What's the age limit? Yeah, it's 11. Okay. So 11 years old and you come and you sign up? You sign up and the parents sign and any day after school from 3 to 6.30, they're available. It's a drop-in center. Just open. Boom. Open. Awesome. And so if we have any kids or parents listening to this radio show, which we have tons of, um... (laughs) Who would you say is a prime candidate or who, you know, out there, if someone feels like they don't have a lot of friends, or, you know, who do you think would be a prime candidate for this? How would it help your life? 
Well, um, I think anyone could go. Um, you make new friends there, like, because there's kids who go there from elementary schools, high schools, and junior high schools. From Garden Street Academy? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we have, um, I think it's mainly students because the tutor program there is really great, and we have other activities that help them, like, find new friends if they need new friends. Um, or if they just want to have fun, they could go there to have fun. Perfect. Instead of them walking around looking for something to do after school, they yeah. can go get involved in sports, uh, help with their education. It's just an all-around good thing for the community. Right. Yeah. Well, and then we have a strong police presence. So we're in Big Little Pal all week, and mm-hmm. yesterday we had tacos at the park, and we had probably 15 officers come out. Wow. They did participate in a tug-of-war with our kids. Nice. The officers <laughs> lost. No. Nice. The kids won. Nice. I love that. Um, are international students also welcome, or do they... Oh, yeah, as long as you are um, 11 through 18 and in high school, you're able to come. Their guardian oh. would just sign the okay, release that's for great. them. Yeah, because I see a lot of international kids ten, tend to stay amongst themselves instead of, like, oh. getting to become part of the community. Right. We have so that one, would be a great one young thing. boy from Peru. And we actually have a volunteer that comes in and works. She speaks Spanish, and an older woman who just wanted to give back. And she works specifically with him one day a week on his English and and his schoolwork. It's amazing. Yeah. How many kids do you serve right now, Michelle? Um, We serve through the teen center about a hundred, and then through our campership and other outreach programs, we'll reach um, eight hundred to a thousand. Wow! And there's room for more. Always room for more. Nice. Where Where do you get your funding? I write a lot of grants. Speaking of funding, we have our annual um, event coming up, April 28th, at the Coral Casino. Ooh, that fancy. is our largest fundraiser. It's mm-hmm. fancy, but it's Santa Barbara casual, so you can wear jeans, gentlemen. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so that is our big fundraising event. Actually, our, our guest, um, our teen speaker this year is a PAL alum going to CC on the Promise program. Oh, excellent. Yeah, she's like the face. She's been in the commercials, in the ads, Mm -hmm. so she will be our guest speaker. And then we are honoring um, retired Captain Ed Zeiler, who is the first executive director of PAL. Nice. How do we get tickets for that, or is it open to the public to buy tickets? It is open to the public. You can go to www.sbpal.org, and there'll be, you'll see it front and center. Uh You click it on and buy your ticket. Excellent. We love you. Yes. I know that you're a true blessing, seriously, for being on the show. Thank you. So Thank you really for busy. letting us come on. No, it's great. honestly, you're awesome. Thank you. Have you refreshed your commercial? I haven't done yeah. my commercial yet. Oh. Okay. But uh, we will seriously. very soon. I, know. <laughs> I mean, really? I want to talk to you at break, okay? We're going to okay. take a break, all right? Let's take okay. another break, all right? <laughs> Sounds this good. This is Erica Salda, the Queen of Team. will be back with a lot more, including scheduling a PAL commercial after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. And Dominique, where else can you find us? Facebook. Instagram. We've got an Instagram. Uh, YouTube. Twitter. Twitter yeah. Uh, TeenSportsRadio.com. Teen Teen That's very sweet. Dominique, I, I didn't, you just surprised me. Great story today. You knew where we're at. I'm, I'm liking it all. You know, go ahead. Can I tell you my favorite place? Yeah. AM 1290. That's it. I know. Santa Barbara News Press Radio Station. You know, um, because we only have a couple of minutes, but, you know, in a nutshell, I mean, you have two minutes to tell the story, okay? So basically, this woman over here held a bond, okay? She gets off this plane with her mom. She wants to climb, was it the Himalaya Mountains? What was it? No, it wasn't the Himalayas. What was it? It was a mountain in India. Journey. Journey, okay. Really? You have two minutes. This is awesome. Two minutes. Okay, Okay, Reader's Digest version. So. I'm on a journey. I actually was a firefighter with L.A. City. Mm-hmm. In a nutshell, I had a 200-pound ladder come down, snap my neck, fractured like C4, 5, 6, 7, L4, L5. <sighs> Two years of um, really therapy and, and rehab, and I lost my identity. So I went to go to India for a little journey, and I ended up in prison with my mom. And um, and it, it was quite a journey. Because she had a, what is it? Magazine. Magazine. Who carries a magazine? You you deserve to go to jail. You deserve to go to jail. And it wasn't a National Geographic magazine. It was a magazine of bullets. So, um, yeah. It, it was near an umbrella. I got through four international airports. I mean, it was a pretty heavy-duty thing. And um, I, you know, 
it was um, it was quite a story, and um, uh, I'm I'm writing a book. I've been writing a book since I was in prison, and um, it's that's that's where I am. A lot of processing. Met a lot of good people. And the governor got you out, right? The governor, we I think, got us out. We I have believe. to say, I'm so proud of the fact that you learned a wonderful trade while you were in prison. <laughs> <laughs> what, writing? <laughs> well, you know what? I did. That was my biggest thing. I wanted my journals. I wanted my journals so I can keep writing. How long so, were you there? Over three months. Wow. In prison? But you made it and you're back. I'm back. I know. And then the first thing you did, you decided to conceive a child. Yeah. Okay. And now you're both on a mountain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I was amazed by this whole thing, honestly. And I'm thank God you're back. And thank God we're all in. I know. I see the smushy sign. Thank God we're all together. Thank God we have Facebook now. Thank God we live in Santa Barbara. Thank God we're going to be back next week. God bless Santa Barbara. Barbara, see you next week. Woo! 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 Woo!